Hello everybody, my name is Vivian Kriya and welcome back to our Naturalist Origami Projects. Today we're going to make a glass eel. So the first thing you're going to do is take your tissue paper, I cut out an 8 by 8 inch square, and you're going to fold it in half diagonally so that the two corners touch. And we've just turned our square or diamond into a triangle. Make sure that line is nice and creased. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to take the two corners and fold it inward so that that outer edge is now lined up with the center. So we're going to do that on both sides. And make sure it's as lined up as possible. Then we're going to do a similar thing on the other side, turning our kite shape into that of a diamond. So again, we're gonna take that out piece and fold it in and get something that looks like this. Then we're gonna take those corners and fold it in so we get a nice flat edge and then we're gonna fold it in again. So we're folding in both of the corners twice so that our eel is nice and thin. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Again, fold that corner into this middle and then fold that whole side over again. Now we're gonna make the tail and the head. For the tail, we're gonna do this double over fold like this. So you fold it over once and then fold it back over again. And make sure that part is nice and creased. And this is gonna be the tail. And then for the head, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just fold the front part in. So then instead of having a triangle that comes to a tip, that comes to a point, it's just kind of like this flat part and then we're going to fold that whole thing over. And then especially towards the end, you want to make sure the tail is nice and flattened out. You can kind of pull it out a little bit and flatten it out. Then we're going to take our Sharpie and draw some eyes on our eel. And if you want, you can bend it a little bit so that it looks like it's swimming. Alright, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.